artist in their first project. So your first project that was commercially released had like uh, Rhonda and the song down here, all that shit on there, man. Mm-hmm. What made that first project so special that you think sometimes some artists can't recreate that shit? Man, you know what? I don't think it's supposed to be recreated. Mm. For one, the hurt and pain that I hear in my voice mm-hmm. on that first album. Mm-hmm. I scream, I heard that shit. I listened to it about a year or two. Man, that motherfucker made me cry. Because mm. I could hear the despair in my voice. Mm-hmm. I could hear that it was all or nothing. If yeah. this don't work, what? Especially it's on, you down, feel me, man? It's on down here and that type of shit. And them old fathers, them yeah. older records. I'm talking yeah. about the uh, okay. yeah. living the day through tomorrow okay. and shit like that, man. Yeah. Shit just... Yeah. Just goddamn, I gotta make it in this shit. There ain't no sunshine. Mm. Shit off that first album, man. I could just hear it in my voice that I needed this. It, it was just like a release, man. Like I told niggas, man, I hadn't even raised my voice until I went in the studio. Mm. I went up loud, nigga. I always been cool. That was the first time I could just scream. Mm. And that shit sound like, hey man, it sound like it too, man. It sound like it, man. You know what I mean? I hear that joint. I, I hear that joint, black man. I was like, this young nigga is for real about what he's talking about, man. Some of yeah, that shit. Yeah, sound like, like some shit was coming up out you. Yeah, bro, it was my release. Yeah, it was my release. It was everything I wanted to say about everything going on. Them niggas stole my car, with my thirties on it. This just some bullshit. Nigga had a car about a week. They done stole my shit. And this all the shit that's building up. I had my college portfolio in the trunk. Mm. Shit. Now I got to drop out of college because I ain't got my shit to turn on, turn in. It's midterm. All this shit going on in my life. I just graduated. Mm. The real world for real, man. What you think it would have been if, if you if the music shit didn't crack for you? What you think it would have been for I was you? A, I'm, I can draw and all that stuff, man. I had went to school. I was ready to do computer animation. You know, rap. That wasn't my... Pops wasn't letting it be my thing. But when I got down to Augusta, you know, after they uh, stole my damn art equipment, I was at Art Institute of Atlanta. After they stole my damn shit, I had to start back playing baseball. <laughs> I had to take a baseball scholarship. I had a baseball scholarship, but I was about to say, fuck baseball. I'm about to do this computer animation shit mm. and get some of this Disney money off of this goddamn shit. I can draw. Mm. Man, them nigga done stole my car, probably just threw that shit out the goddamn trunk. They don't know they just fucked up a nigga whole goddamn play. But you made my play at the same time. Because mm. you yeah, them yeah. niggas who I was goddamn mad as fuck at when I went in that studio, nigga. That's the kind of shit that went on. But yeah, I went and took that shit out on Peter. That's the kind of shit that man, <laughs> fucked the world. <laughs> man, everybody, man, this shit, fuck that shit. It's on. Nah, that shit, that shit was hard. So that was that, what the first song was. You, you, you remember the first song? You man, played? bro, no more playing. Ga was the first song I recorded. The first time I went to a real studio, I made the beat. The first time I went to the studio, I got the beat machine. We had the real studio down there, sound, uh, Studio South. Man, I walk in there with my drum machine. The engineer like, uh, okay, separate the track. I was like, uh, nah, we don't separate the track. We just play it out the headphones. It's good. <laughs> that motherfucker said, what? You, all y'all do is what? Man, this is a professional studio. I need the snare separated, the cymbal separated, da, da, da. You don't know what you're doing? You need to get your manual and come back when you're ready. I'm like, damn, this motherfucker just checked me. Man, he was like, I don't want to just waste your time in the studio. This shit costing $100 an hour. And this 98, 97, 90, yeah, 98. Mm-hmm. Man, I leave with the goddamn, leave with my equipment. He was like, man, try to get you some more studio time in about a week or two. I'll make sure I can get you in. Bro, I go straight home, get on that damn manual, trying to figure out how to separate these tracks. All right, cool. Now I got it. Making the bass just come out by itself. Mm-hmm. Making the snare just come out by itself. You know, separating them. Mm-hmm. Man, when he let me get back in the studio, man, Walked through him with that drum machine, homeboy was like, you got it? Like, yeah, I got it. Homeboy plugged that joint up. That motherfucker say, push play. Had that bass so low, it just say, boom, 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 boom. I said, all right. He was like, yeah, that's it. He let me get in that studio, man, the booth. What's so crazy, man? Went in there and rapped the song, and it was just no more playing GA. The last day we was in the studio, man, we was in the studio probably two weeks. The last day we was in the studio, I'm listening to everything, and I told him to goddamn... Man, let me go back in there and add some of that hook. And I added that we ready on top of it. Mm. 
So it was already no well, nigga, fuck what you say. Ain't no more playing GA. Then I put them, we ready, we yeah. ready. Mm. Turned that shit to a whole nother dog, man. Mm. And shit, <laughs> the rest is black history. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That man. man, we gotta get it going. All y'all bootleggers, man, shit. If you know you bootleg my shit back in the day, if you know you had a blank CD with Pastor Troy just got there typed on that motherfucker, man. I had it too, Troy. Now, man, scream. It's all gangster, man. Right. Uh, what you got coming up this year, man? What's man, we just sleep? hanging and banging, man. We just hanging and banging. I'm looking forward. I got a little series I'm about to shoot, man. I don't know what I'm going to call it. Just going to be some real gangster shit, man. Just from the story of a nigga that's been in the rap game for 23 years doing this shit. Mm. That's some shit Tyler Perry ain't going to be able to goddamn tell you. He ain't going to be able to show you this shit. Mm. Will Packer and them. This some shit from the field. Mm-hmm. You feel me, man? Some mm-hmm. of the shit you just have to be in it to know. You yeah. feel me, man? Like my first contract. Bro, I signed my first contract. That shit, three or four pages. I'm telling the bro, this this my production deal? Yo, Cherry, yeah, this your production deal. I promise. I said, everything on the up and up. She supposed to be my manager. Mm-hmm. Everything on the up and up. <laughs> all right, bitch. I'm signing this shit, but mm-hmm. all right now. Mm-hmm. Sign my name to that shit. Phew, pass. All right. Bro, niggas started hearing a call all across the city. Man, I'm trying to sign with Gene Griffin. Trying to sign with Gene Griffin. I'm like, I don't even know who Gene Griffin is. This the distributor dude. Oh, nah. I just signed a distribution deal. He do help me with the distribution. They like, man, you better get a lawyer to check on that, man. He telling everybody he signed to him. I hit the broad up. Hey, man, I need a copy of that contract. Okay, I have it for you today, Troy. Right. That shit turned into a damn a week. Now I got to turn into, hey, I need that contract today. All right, come and meet me at the work, whatever. Man, I got them. Get out there, man. When I run the doorbell, black, I hear a bitch crying from the other side of the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Black, when she handed me that mother, she handed it to me, telling me I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Black, that mother handed me the contract. That's all, bitch, an encyclopedia. <laughs> they done stapled <laughs> to the top for what I motherfucking sign. This all bitch like this. I tell her, bitch, what is this? First thing across that motherfucker and letter like graffiti. Exclusive recording <laughs> all this <laughs> contract. <laughs> hey, Exclusive recording all this contract. I said, God damn. It should be a bold letter too. I told her, bro, I said, I can't sign this. We already signed. That bro said, like, huh? I just left it at that. Bro, I went back, signed contracts to myself and backdated them. Past that date. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> the album was already done. How the fuck I'm going to sign an exclusive recording artist contract with you on an album that's already done in order? Them motherfuckers changed the picture on me. I take another picture with them. Now it's Pastor Troy. I declare war, we ready. This done went to we ready, I declare war. They just done flipped the shit. Mm. But that flipping of the name be flipping of the ownership, baby. Mm. I'm like, okay. Bro, we went and backdated them contracts, man. I went and signed some contracts. Had my boy notarize some shit. The notary was expired from the year before, but he still had his joint. Mm. Man, goddamn, put these stamps on this bitch from 1998. And everybody that's on the album, if you said something on it, we giving you a contract too. So now I got five contracts. I got Lil' Pete contract, Rhonda contract. I got all these people contract. Mm. And just this one with you. Who goddamn keeping the real and who bullshitting? And this dated before you. Mm-hmm. Mm. That nigga took that shit on the Universal. He had to get it out of his hand because we was about to be mm-hmm. at him. Mm-hmm. He took me to Universal. The motherfucker was like, Troy, man, shit, we'll get that nigga out the pot. We'll just do business straight up with you. And that's when I signed. I wanted to stay independent because I was killing something. Man, dog, if I would have stayed independent, how that shit would groove, and boy, it was gone. Yeah. But yeah. it's cool. It all made sense mm. at the end of the day. Facts. You Damn, think man. you think what what would you say is your hardest song? We know the biggest one is We Ready. Uh-huh. If you ask me, I say this the city. That's my favorite. Yeah, this but the city. What, that's pretty what's, hard. What's what do you think your hardest song? Uh, I think uh <laughs> I like I my one of his hardest songs to me was Rhonda. Like, oh Rhonda for Rhonda. sure. Yeah, for I'm about woman. to shoot that joint, man. Me and Princess from Crime Mob, she's gonna play Rhonda for me, man. Oh, we wow. gonna shoot that. The story already uh-huh. there. All we yeah. gotta do is shoot this shit, sure. you know. Yeah. Um uh, probably one of my hardest, man. I think it's a. Uh, I love vice versa because it was just a poem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You feel it was just a poem. You know what I mean, man. Mm-hmm. Nigga booed me 
off the stage on goddamn saying vice versa down mm. there in college, man. Mm. And just to go back down there, shit, this year I went for homecoming. Hold on, you say when you was in college, you said the poem and got booed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you yeah. turned it into a song? Yeah, I finally heard a beat for it. I finally heard a beat for it. I probably had that song memorized for about two years before I heard a beat. Oh, My boy wow. Carl Moore played that joint, man, and he had gave it to Big Boy, and Big Boy passed on it. Mm. And then Carl Moore played that beat for me, man. I heard that. Doom, 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 doom. Mm. I said, boy, I got something for this. Mm. 